is quiet. Oh. Yes, it is live, because I've just been told that we are live. We are live. live. <laughs> Guys, welcome. Um, Hi. We are oh. myself, Richie, oh. and Guy here. They're going to be looking after you while we just get tuned into the stream. Any technical issues, guys, just make sure you whack them in the comments below and we will address them. Yep, so hi guys, welcome along. As Tim said, myself, Richie, Tim's obviously sorting some technical stuff out. We have the one only Guy Butler here. Um, he's going to run through some really cool stuff with us tonight. Um, are you talking about photography, um, some kit, kit as well? Uh, and also, we're going to be chatting, not giving too much away, but a little bit about what we get up to today. So, uh, yeah, we're lucky enough to have Guy down today with. Um, a really cool photo shoot. Yeah, it it went better than I expected as well. Yeah, actually, it was, yeah. it was. I was thinking it was going to arrive. It would be a little bit not a hit and miss, but just a little bit like trying to herd cats. Yeah. But it actually went really, really well. Yeah. Um, you know, we arrived, got set up, turned the studio into a photo studio, and um, an yeah. actual full working studio. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. In the space of about an hour and a half. Yeah. Obviously, for you guys, obviously you've tuned into. Uh, <coughs> Tim's and myself live streams. Um, you know that this Tim, being the clinical guy that he is, uh, it's pretty much just a white box. You know, there's no, there's no dust, there's no DNA, there's nothing. Um, there was DNA. But there it's, was. Uh, I used bleach. But it was mine. It was from last weekend, it's and <laughs> no one can prosecute. There's no evidence. So yeah. Anyway, guy turned up with a mountain of kit. Like, I'm talking thousands and thousands of pounds worth of kit. We, we estimated if we were going to kill Guy and bury him today, we would have made about 20 grand. Yeah. Is that right? Guy, is that right? Yeah, that's about right. 20,000 pounds yeah. upwards. Um, so yeah, it's incredible. We basically turned this place into um, the most legitimate photo studio I've ever seen. Um, I was truly impressed. Um, <laughs> so, me too. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, it was good. It was, a, it was a good day. I think we've got a lot of ground covered. Yeah. Um, I think we ticked all the boxes we wanted to tick. Yeah, it's, you know, we, we did, you know, we got through, <coughs> we kind of came with a bit of a game plan in terms of what we wanted to try and complete. And then we also had some, like, to have, you know, some, some kind of, like, oh, yeah. we've got a bit of time to do this and that, you know, try some kind of fun stuff out to see whether it would work, whether it would work or not. And, uh, yeah, we just kind of smashed through it and well, really, really made it work. So, yeah. Yeah, really good. Yeah, it's good. We had some quite to test in weather at some times, you know, just kind of yeah, just continually rained all afternoon, so, you know, doing changes and getting the shots we want was a bit of a test, but Guy, who's uh, done really well. Um, I'm just going to let the stream build up a little bit. We've got a lot of people joining. We've got a lot of people that are in the buffering stage of joining mm -hmm. and all that sort of thing that are going to be catching up on the stream. Uh, the comments are going well. It seems that uh, audio is good, video is nice and stable, which is perfect. It's just what we wanted. Yes. So yes. everyone's happy. Um, and then I think you know, we'll, uh, we'll just breeze through some early details about today before we dive in and uh, myself and Richie give you a bit of a grilling guide yeah, to we'll find out a little bit more about it. <laughs> we, know, uh, we know a lot of people have joined the stream to find out yeah. about you, what you've been doing, um, the man with the legend. Yeah, <laughs> you know, what you've been up to, how you've got to this point in your career. But um, again, we have got a lot of people joining, um, which is absolutely awesome. So guys, welcome. Thank you very much for joining. Yeah, again. We know a lot of people. Queuing to get into the stream at the moment. Um, I presume that is a queuing. I presume that is a that is a huge one in one out with the clicker. Yeah, it's at the moment it's it's VIP from Sunday, so um, I presume that is down yeah. to um, that's the the system that YouTube put in to stop them from picking lag up or you know buffering the earlier part of the video. So straight buffers for them to join straight away. So that's perfect. Yeah. So, um, we've got a good amount of viewers in, which is awesome. Seventy six current watching. So, guy. Welcome. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you very much. No, no. Myself, Richie. Thank you for inviting me. Um, you know, it's I, the offer's been there for a long time, and um, you know I haven't come down and seen you guys, so it's case of sort of like eventually just get my butt down and you know come yeah. and, a come and say hello rather than in London. Yeah, um, we've met in London a few times for coffee, yeah. so come see the studio that was you know built over what three months. Yeah, yeah, three um, months of craft. Yeah. And it's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's very awesome. It's, yeah. it's the best man cave that you've probably found. <laughs> um, you know, and yeah, it's just you know really good to, to have, you know for you guys to invite yeah. me down. Because yeah, obviously you know we've had we've had many conversation online via messaging etc. You know, swapping ideas between yeah. myself, Tim, and yourself. Um, but yeah, it's good to finally get you down, thrash some ideas out, and um, yeah, put those ideas in uh, into practice. Yeah, it, it it has. It's been a really good idea churning day as well. Yeah, you know, not only yeah. not only has it been come down photographs, crack on with that. It's also been <coughs> like stick 
you know, three wise monkeys in a, in a box and yeah. just see what comes out at the end. Yeah. And it's been awesome, you know, in terms of some really good ideas. You so, know. I know um, we'll probably get on to more of what we've done today. I think mm -hmm. we're planning on dropping some photos later and some of some of the stuff we've done today, which it, you, I definitely suggest you guys hang around for. It's uh, they're worth having a little yeah. nose at, seeing what we've been doing. Um, Guy, starting from the beginning, um, obviously I met you quite a few years back, but prior to that, I think we were chatting online for quite a while. Um, yeah. Do you want to sort of give us a brief rundown, you know, of, of your, I guess, starting at Airsoft maybe, and the photography side, and, and how that's gone forward to where you are now? So, yes. where did that start? Okay, so, so Airsoft, I, I did the mythical sort of like switch over from paintball to Airsoft back in 2015. No, 2005. Okay. 2005. So, yeah, quite early on. Yeah. Very early on. Um, you know, Airsoft had been around kind of in the mix for a fair bit, mm. but it was just purely, you know, your, your, your Springer pistols, your, you know, single action, sort of like, you know, your own 16s that you get, your MP5s, plastic, pick them up, you could literally twist the yeah. entire body. Yeah. You know, that's what was that that was it you know and that's what uh you know tm were bringing out you know that was their standard yeah so no, nothing nothing like the technology you, you see in today's nothing, ages you know nothing like it so back then if you wanted to do anything where you know you were wanting like you know sling sort of like anything yeah. of any kind of like weight to each other um you know at, at decent ranges and be able to feel it at a, a decent speed it was painful you know yeah, straight right. up simple yeah. that's all that was around <laughs> and at the time back then, there was there was a bit of a Milson community of paintball, you know. So the the general kind of skirmish rules that you had t of today in airsoft, we had paintball, and you know you'd go along, same kind of like, you know, capture flags and stuff like that. But it was you know very much people still you doing the kind of like Milson side. I mean, there'd even be like twenty four hours that they'd be constructed, um, and then yeah, so two thousand five was out playing, I can't remember the name of the place where this was out in, uh, around the 25. And somebody literally turned up one day and, you know, quite a big group of us, you know, everyone's like chewing fat, sort of like around the safe zone, as you normally do. Mm, yeah. And so I'm like, guys, you know, I've got something, you know, everyone's gonna wanna see. And it's like, what is it? And it was, it was a uh, classic army M4. You know, just, yeah. Simple, simple, old, oh, yeah, yeah. old school. Hands up if you want one of them. Plastic handguard, yep. you know, yeah. early as sin. Um, and we're kind of like, that looks cool. You know, pick it up. And it's just like, and, and the first thing you do is pick it up. It's like, that's man. You know, you know, you, all of a sudden it's like, try to keep a little twist. Mm -hmm. It's not twisting. And he's like, right, check this out. And, you know, even, even going back there, and probably, you know, compared to kind of like, you know, the, the you know, the TM uh, recoil systems and stuff like that, you know, and yeah. all, you know, system and stuff like that. But literally the, the you know, the trigger response of what it was like back then, it was as good as the as the um, paint runs that we were using. It was like, whoa! <laughs> and it was like, I actually yeah. nothing yet. Turned it onto, you know, full auto, let rip, and we were just like that. Everyone's jaws hit the draw, hit the floor, and probably within about a month, everyone had sold up. Yeah. Uh, paintball gear, you know, Everything. sold, on, gone, Airsoft was the the way that people were were looking at, and that was, you know, can only imagine that was the the genesis moment where paintball really dropped off in terms of you know the kind of you know paintball sites as they kind of known, they really just fell away, and airsoft sites kind of like what well, paintball sites turned into airsoft sites. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, they they just switched markets. All of a sudden, people were going out. You know, buying BBs, buying these, you know, the riffs is what they were. And that's when it all began back yeah. then. Um, and so, yeah, it was, it was you know, back then, uh, I've been doing photography as a hobby um, back then. I've, I've been working overseas, taking photographs, just purely hobbyist, doosh, 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 doosh. And it was probably the second year that I was doing, so probably 2006, I was like, a lot more lawnmower game again because um because airsoft didn't leave paint everywhere because it was like not messy it was like plastic movies that we swept up yeah you know got rid of quite easily all of a sudden the mod sites were like yeah sure we love you know not a problem you know so sort of like if you want to use it, as long as it's cleared up have days but yeah. because there's no paint 
happy for you guys to come along. So all of a sudden, all, you know, Longmore popped up, you know, a couple of other stuff to pop up, that all of a sudden it was like, hang on a second, we're not just running around trees. We're getting to actually, you know, go around buildings. We're getting to sort of like go in through little mouse holes. It was like, <gasps> it was, you know, it was like, environment. yeah, but it was just like, this is what, you know, people kind of like dreamed about, you know, getting their hands on. And all of a sudden it's like, there you go, you're attacking. Yeah. So I was at Longmore and um, I literally had my camera with me and, you know, sort of played half the day. And I think, you know, literally battery ran down and again at the time I didn't have a charger, didn't have the ability to charge up, I didn't, you know, yeah, I wasn't flush enough to have multiple batteries at that time. Because sort of back then not, not many people had, could afford spare guns at that time. No, it, 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 they, yeah. were, they were expensive, yeah. you know, these things were a lot of money to drop, um, you know, there was no cheap soft. No, the, yeah. the sports line wasn't about that. No, no. This, this was a case of if you wanted to get into it and you wanted to get into it in any way, shape or form, you had to drop a, a fair slug of yeah. money to yeah. get into it. Um, and so actually ran out, so I was like, eh. uh, but I just went, you know what, actually, I'm gonna have a bit of skulk around um, and take some photographs. So, literally, spoke, yeah. to, spoke, to, spoke to the game organizer, said, Do you mind just cut around and take some photographs? And he was like, oh, Go for it, stuck a high vis on, and just went for a mooch. Mm-hmm. So, literally, started mooching around, no particular aim or you know, nothing was after, but um, you know, I won't drop the names, but you know, there was a couple of guys there that played very, very well. Um, JV, Chris, if they're watching, they know exactly who they are. Yeah. Um, you know, and got some epic photographs of them, mm-hmm. you know, because again, they've been doing it as a hobby for so long, it was going to actually get, it was a bit of fun, it was something really different, yeah. so it was just like, I'm actually, you know, looking at like, because obviously, windows. back then, you, you know, you didn't have the, um, the huge social media, like, the, it, <laughs> it's not near as big, no. you know, so back then, if you had photos of yourself, they were for you, and not yeah, for you. Oh, on Instagram yeah, and get yeah. 500 likes. Yeah. I had, a, um, I, I had a, an iWebsite, you know, this is going back into the days of when Apple was, um, you, know, it's, you know, it was before iCloud, it was yeah. i something. Um, but I had an iWeb account that I was paying for so I could have a little drag and drop sort of like website that I could kind of create. Yeah. And I was kind of like chucking images up onto that. And you know, people are looking at people like, oh, you know, wow, you know, sort of like really loving them. Um, you know, and again, no real, real way of showing them yeah. in terms of social media. Yeah. But just being able to share them, share the images. So that's where it all kind of started from. Um, and because so, I still remember, like, in, in my early days, obviously I started a bit later than yourself. But I remember yeah. when there were photographers kicking about, what you would do, they would take photographs. They would put it up on their own little website, yeah. and then you could request that picture. Mm. But again, you know, you didn't have the social media, so if if you said, "Oh, was it your event? I really like this picture of me. Yeah. Can I have it?" Yeah, they would email it to you. You know, yeah. and then you know, you you if you wanted to keep it, you kept it. You didn't. You couldn't really do anything with it. <laughs> you just print it off, stuff on your wall, and yeah. you know, it's like yeah. Yeah, you're going a little ego. Yeah, it's a completely different kind of kettle fish. Oh, totally. Yeah. So. So yeah, so you know, sort of like time goes past, bouncing around, and then started getting so good for years past. So probably at this point, because I went back overseas and came back to the UK. Um, at this point, I was dropping a lot of money. I'd, I'd invested a lot in camera equipment. I invested a lot in um, uh, you know an airsoft gear. So you know, it, it was a, a lot of stuff I had. And you know, started going to Sterling Mm Pass. And you know, that was the first one where it was going to oh sweet, you know, it isn't just sort of like you know. You know, skirmish days. Yes, yeah. this full blown Milson days. And it was, yeah. um, you know, Sunny Bridge, it was Coke Hill, Stanta. And, you know, going along to those with, you know, had rifle kind of slung or sometimes just sort of like ditched to one side. Yeah. I'd put a little red ball cap on and just go and take photographs and yeah. just, again, sculpt around and try and get some images. And again, it's kind of like sweet, really, really good images. Mm. Um, and I think at some point I just kind of like fell out of love with Ensoft. Okay. You know, I just kind of yeah. like, at some point along the line, I was kind of like, yeah, you know, I was, I was bouncing around from job to job and so yeah. like, you know, I was trying to make, you know, not quite sure what I was going to do, and it's not just the cash. I, I think a lot of people do that, don't they? You know, they get to a point with Ensoft, and whether it's Ensoft itself, whether it's the people in it, you know, whether it's your own work or social life, I think it's, it comes to the point where you go, oh, do you know what? It has to take a back seat. It has to. I, th- I think a hiatus is quite possibly the best thing I did with Airsoft was to like 
got to a point where it was beginning to jar me a bit and yeah. I found the, the, no, the whole scene and everything in, you know a little bit annoying went off done the drifting scene for like nearly a year and then came back to it with a yeah. whole fresh mm. kind of outlook and I think when people start getting a bit sour with it I think that's the best thing to do because Thank if you set up the jack you know and then come back to it a year later you lose so much especially if you've got a decent amount of kit mm. yeah. you never you never get a decent price for it realistically no. in, the, in the market so I think a hiatus is sometimes the best thing for people yes yeah. so obviously so how long was you did you was your hiatus from out of I'd probably say it's still going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's you know, I've got it's never really stopped. Um, yeah, it's never really stopped. There's yeah. so much it's like, you know, it's it's still pause. Yeah. Um Because obviously well, I've never seen you with a with a with a with a airsoft gun in your hand. No. So <laughs> it's, yeah. it's like, not to, to be honest, not many people have. They yeah. don't know yeah. a safe zone or just like hang around the back and good. Yeah. Um <laughs> you know. But um so yeah, so it kind of transitioned from going and playing and sort of picking up camera and then switching around to just going to take photographs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's that's when I think that was probably two thousand and thirteen, two thousand twelve, two thousand thirteen I reckon. Um, mm-hmm. you know, bouncing around, going on to big games, just kinda of going, right, smash out, just get some really, really cool photographs yeah. of what's going on, document yeah. the days. Um, I remember speaking to um, uh, I think it was Matt uh, Belgrove. Yeah. And kind of saying, look, you know, sort of like idea is to come along, um, you know, just take photographs. And I, said, and I kind of said, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to wear high beers and get all, you know, sort of, you know, go all sort of like just totally over and be like, yeah. you know, so nobody shoots me? Or do you want me to go basically be as part of the game but be not in game, if that makes sense? Yeah. So, so I'm out of play, but I'm cutting around, you know, taking photographs as a uh, you know as a, as a journalist yeah, so, yeah. so no high fees trying no. to keep the realism keep the, the yeah. medicine thing going um, yeah and so, you know, like, that's what I remember being so different from when I remember seeing you at Cope Hill um, to every other photographer that I'd ever sort of come across in Airsoft is that they've got high vis on nine times out of the way they get in the fucking way yeah. let's just be you know brutally honest about that or they're yeah. in a position that compromises teams so we've also had that before. It's like you know he's trying to be in front of us to to get the the shots of where we're going. Yeah. And then the enemy can just see this guy in a high vis bank with what backing up the road. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a round back. back. I yeah, so like, you know I wonder what he's shooting. So you know the yeah. first time I remember seeing you, I think you had like a blue plate carrier on. Yeah. With press across the. Blue. No, 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 no more blue. No, no, we no, 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 What colour was your plate carrier with oh, press I, across? I had a funky monkey um SOHP two. What in Mulligan? No, no it was it's just it's green. It was green. It was green. It was green. It was green. 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 Yeah. I just remember you having this plate carrier on, lid, and camera. Yeah. And I just remember you being like something out of um, Ross Kemp style <laughs> press <laughs> guy. Oh, that's just what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> What, that they were like, season oh, one or season two? Oh, all of the first. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I just remember that, that kind of uh, press. Look and thinking that was fucking yeah. cool. Like yeah. it looked like you rolled yeah, off the field. Yeah, because it had a niche baseball cap under the niche, which like I'd only ever seen like legit real school pictures of guys um, in uh, yeah. doing that. And I was like, this guy's legit, son. And also yeah. my hair was about three times the size of my tail. That's it. It came out. Like, yes. Yeah. So on, it was kind of like a special forces punch to the clown because he kind of came <laughs> out like, like this. I was like, but he pulled it off. He pulled it off. So, <laughs> so, it sounds like <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Like, like, like Crusty the Clown in Delta. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. A dev group Crusty. High speed Crusty. High speed low donut, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so so I, I, that's, that's one thing I do remember seeing you out on the ground thinking, yeah. fuck, that's a cool talk. Yeah. And then some of the shots and like pissing it down. There's a really good photo you've got, I remember thinking through with me, like the running, and there's it's just lashing it, and you've got all this kind of rain coming across yeah. the screen. And like, I had no you were there, but at the set, at the time I was just fucking sprinting for cover. Yeah. And I the fact that it was such a good shot, I was like, wow, how, how did he even manage to get into a position to see that? And then also, how did you get such a crisp shot in pissing rain? Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, the, the big thing is, and I mean, sort of like, you know, it's that age of thing, you see the camera in someone's face and they give the stupidest, cheesiest grin. Yeah. Um, 
but the, you know, the more you can kind of be around people, and also it's, it's trying to catch people when they're concentrating. Mm. You know, so there's no point in taking photographs of people when they're just sitting around doing mm-hmm. jack and just sort of like, oh, take yeah. photographs. <clears throat> it's like, man, but what I want is, you know, images of people doing stuff and when they're actually really concentrating on exactly what they're doing. That's when you get that image when it's kind of like, oh, shit, you know, that, yeah. that's that image that's, you know, because I'll catch some. I remember you saying exactly that, you know, that reason. We were at Stan's out and we were coming up this tight set of stairs, you know, on the um, like ISO containers? Yeah. Um, coming up the stairs, and I, you know, I think there was me, Matt Belgrove, Ben, there's a, a few like the, um, mm. the Sterling guys were all clearing up uh, to get this HVT. And um, I remember looking out and like seeing you at the back of the stack. Like, like you were going to clear the building as well, like wait for the <laughs> in comes the door, takes the camera, out comes a nine banger, you know. Um, but yeah, I was like, what's this dude doing here? And yeah, and literally then, next thing I saw was a picture uh, came up with your little logo on it, and there's me, like, he's, he's got the camera like up the stairs like this, so he's literally like, if you imagine the stairs coming down, the last down the stack, I've got my rifle slung, pistol drawn, just about the breach is throwing like, that's a, like a turbo alley shot, mate. <laughs> and um, yeah, I remember that's the first time the dude's getting stuck in. He's like, yeah, it's not like you say, just, you know, not seeing the teams. Getting stuck yeah. in, you know, getting those, I say the real action shots, the ones that, you know, where people are more concentrated on what they're doing, yeah. getting the job done, yeah. than going, oh, let me just, let me just start in this every game. the camera kind of thing. And, and, that, yeah. and that was the big thing. It was, it was you know, find, you know, you, you know, you go to the events and you meet the guys, and you, you know, you tune them, you know, in, you know, the fogs and stuff like that. But then you, you very quickly, you know, so they get to know you, they, and they've seen you work already, so they kind of say, actually, you can take really cool photographs. And then, rather than them kind of, you know, thinking, oh, you're just going to get in the way, it's going to be one of those photographers that just literally sort of like, it's, it's, you know, that selfishly, it's all about me trying to get the photograph of you. Yeah. I'm like, but guys, crack on, I'm going to work around you. Mm. Yeah. You know, and, you know, it, yeah. it's, I know enough of what, you, you, what you're trying to do that I'm not going to try and, you know, muck things up for you. Yeah. But I'm going to try and make, try and make you look good as well at the same so time. Playing an airsoft, like I say, so you, you, you know, you, you know what they're going to do. You know, you, you know, you know what they're going to be doing. You know how they're going to pie a corner and got down to every last detail. But yeah. you know, you've got you've rather than say a photographer who who, who photographs I don't know horses and rabbits and and people's you know cat booty collections. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you have any booty for that? <laughs> <laughs> we won't mention to announce that tonight. Okay. I'm just saying there's there's a there's a there's a a new line of shoes for cats. That, that I'm going to be working on, so it, the cat's out of the bag, you know. Oh, um, oh, oh that's it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, when you get people that don't aren't from the airsoft, that don't you know what airsoft is, yeah. you know, like I say, you know, they'll stand at the top of the stairwell and go, right, well, okay, guys, and, then, and you're like, dude, you're going to get through with the you're, you're about you're to get, get smashed, yeah. 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 So, so, yeah, it obviously, obviously, obviously helps, like I say, obviously us massively. Yeah. Because you're just going to work around us, but at the same time, you know, it kind of you know then what makes a good shot, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's and and that's the, uh, you know, you know, there's the age of saying photography is easy, you know, you know, and, and to a point, you know, and, and this coming from my mouth is terrible, but to a point it is. Yeah. You know, it, photography is now the most oversaturated market on yeah. the planet. Yeah. Um, everyone. Um, that's probably watching this, and almost we've all got cameras on yeah. our phones, right. you know, and these have come on smoking, you know, leaps, leaps and bounds in the last five years. They've yeah. gone from being, mm, you know, it's like taking a photograph of a potato to literally, you know, <laughs> being able to take some, <laughs> yeah, really some good really good yeah. images, yeah. you know, and it, it's just like, yeah, fair play. I mean, geez, I go around Scotland, you know, half the time it's like, yeah, the heavy kits in the back, actually, that's a cool photograph. Yeah. <laughs> Because you know, like you say, with the technology nowadays, um, the, the megapixels you get on this, and obviously seeing you set up today, hmm. how long does it take for us to go shortcut picture Click. compared yeah. to like the bag? Right, that's the wrong lens. Blah, blah, blah. You know, so there's a lot to be said for it. That's, you know, the technology has moved forward. It helps. Oh, it, 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 it helps, helps, helps the average person. But at the same time, yes, like you completely understand where you're coming from. The fact that. It's now made accessible to yeah. everyone. And, you know, everyone has the ability to take photographs, and everyone has the ability to, you know, 
to take photographs on good, decent bits of kit. <laughs> you know, as before, yeah. you know, you know, you could go back fifteen years. You would have to drop thousands. Yeah. To take a good yeah. digital image. Nowadays, your smartphone on your contract yeah. takes a good image. Um, but it, you know, but then, but then it's it, it, and, and as you kind of saw today, it's a case of it, it, it's it's working. It's it's understanding a lot more things of how a photo yeah. works to make it. You know, to go to, to make it really good. Yeah. yeah. So, so guys, just to uh, just to cut in here. So today, when we <laughs> set the studio up, myself and Richie were just getting sorted. Um, but Guy had six lights. Only four. There's four, 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 four lights, but they were huge. A back, like we had a ton of kit. We actually have a ton of lighting in here at the moment, and some other equipment for the for the audio. But there was a real hell of a lot of equipment here today setting up the lighting and stuff. And I think without that today, the shoot wouldn't be nowhere near the caliber of shoot that it was. So that and the equipment, I mean, you know, it's a it's a monster of a camera that the guy uses. So I think you know today I've learned a lot on really you know to get these real high end quality photos, you need more than just a good eye and a half decent camera. You need that equipment, you need the experience, the knowledge of, you know, positioning and all the stuff we saw today, like yeah. just little things, you know, little tweaks to the photo that make them an okay photo or a really, really amazing Like I said earlier, it, it's the snake ball and voodoo magic. It's, you know, you can have, you could you go out and buy all the equipment, you know, and pick up a book on how to take a photograph and, mm. you know, Take all that, take all that information, stick it in your head, next day come go. But then there's that, you know, so it, it's it's those tiny old tweaks of looking at something and going, yeah. no, actually, I don't want that like that. I'm going to bring it down by three inches yeah. because something's going on. Yeah. You know, I'm going to tilt that light actually a couple of degrees. I'm going to mm -hmm. turn it actually rather than going full on, I'm going to bring it across the front of that person yeah. to, to, to create you're creating something as opposed to just documenting something yeah, yeah. and that's the big difference between studio photography which we do today yeah. and going out and you know photographing them in the field and that's more documentative you know photography you're just documenting what you can see with the light maybe constructively creating it but when you're in a studio you are you know like I said it, the idea was is that we take a photograph in here without the strokes going off and it would be pitch black yeah you know I wanted the case that the only light that was visible was what I was producing with those four lights. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, it it's yeah. It, I mean it, even from, from my point of view, you know, um the only pictures I take are literally on my phone, that's it. That's the only camera I own. Um but yeah, like like Tim said and Guy said, just watching the little you know, uh, I'm not saying I understand it, but you know, now I can appreciate the little tweaks they did or sorry Guy did with with the lighting and like I say just moving yeah. and, and even posturing our body. Um you know, it would say like, like chin up, move half a step left, you know, blah, blah, blah. The small adjustments. The small it? adjustments, you know, and, and you just make, you can appreciate that it's not just getting the lighting right and taking a good picture. It's just all those fine little adjustments you, and they all come together. You know, it's all those little bits that, I guess, you know, for years of experience. Um, so it's not all about the same as we said with most of our airsoft kit. It's not about the money you can drop. It's not about, you know, the best equipment you can buy. It's sometimes it's just experience, yeah. years of yeah. hard work of you know making mistakes, not getting it right, and uh, learning from them. That's yeah. the that's the thing. Yeah. So, so when did you when did the military stuff start? Because I know that there's a lot of guys here that are asking about health <laughs> <laughs> of journalism and, stuff, and then I know that there's quite a few guys here that are just like, how the fuck have you got so many cool photos on your website? Have you found an Apache yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. However, um, <laughs> uh, next time I'm on my yeah. list. But um, obviously, guys, just just if you haven't gone and check this out, do it. But make sure you stay on the stream. Um, Guy Butler's website. Just go to Google Guy Butler Photography. Just have a look at the pictures on the homepage and head back in. You'll know exactly what we're talking about. Very very high end military uh, photography, not airsoft, not military. This is real mill stuff. Um, of which Guy won an award this month, last month. Uh, uh, this year. Year. How, this year. Year. How many awards was it? He got three awards. Three. It's the only reason three he's awards. here, by the way, because he's an award winner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you didn't get them. Before they was like, yeah. It's all going to be bolted. So yeah. 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 It's yeah. Like, on, on. Sorry, Richie's not in at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but so, see, like, like you were saying, the difference between studio photography and photography in the field, like basically documenting. Yeah. So obviously, from from what we, you know, what I've seen of your work with the MOD in various different lights and scenarios, yeah. um, a lot of that is obviously, mm, I f you may correct me, but a lot of that seems non-staged. Yeah. So you have to go around and capture the yeah. best picture you can get at that time. Is yeah. that, would that be right? Yeah, pretty thing? much. Um, so, <clears throat> so I, I kind of fell into the whole, uh, you know, I, I had my heart, you know, so I put my hand up. I never thought I'd be doing what I'd be doing today for right. who I'm doing it for. Would You know, if you'd have asked me that four years ago, nah, you know, I'd have been like, no idea. Um, so it all came through, um, you know, making contacts as we do in this industry. And, you know, you chat to people, you talk to people, and, you know, make contact with a small, um, you know, uh, defence manufacturer, Produce some really high end stuff, very low key, you know, quite, you know, privately that, that ran it. It's kind of like, you know, saw my images and it's kind of like, could you do something with my, with my products? I'm kind of like, yeah, yeah, that's all. So, you know, sort of next thing I know, I'm traveling up north, taking some images, you know, and just basically producing some work, you know. Producing some real good quality, you say, say, like catalog, yeah. almost like, uh, yeah. Yeah, just 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 decent do. stock imagery, decent, you know, glossy images that, you know, he can go on to DSCI and show people from Push that for that yeah. with said Gucci image. Gucci images. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you know, it, it so that's you know, pretty much the that was that was the thing. That's what kind of like flowed into it. And then, you know, you do that one job and you kind of put it out there and the one thing that I have learned is that the the you know, the military manufacturing industry is tiny in this country. It's, it's massive, you know, it's a, it's a massive industry in terms of its value, but it's a very closed door world. Yeah. You, you know, you can't just call up these companies and start chatting to them and, you know, kind of say, I want to do some photography for you. Don't, don't, don't just be kind of like, yeah. do I know you? No. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah, who have you worked with before? Yeah. It, and, if, and if you're not on that list of people, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, by doing that job, by doing, you know, those jobs, you just start to get introduced to people, you know, you start to meet other people, you still, you know, the next job leads on to the next one. So again, yeah. these, you know, small to medium suppliers that are producing these pretty cool little bits of kit, um, you know, for, you know, and this was for, you know, for SF, for, you know, um, across the board, different bits and pieces. Um, so again, very, very, very niche, very cool stuff. Um, it just it just grew even more. So that was probably two thousand and drink up these dates now. I mean, that was probably about four years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, about two years two years of doing that, I literally was having a little look around because again I was freelancing. I was you know you know stressed as Hades. Um, you know sort of like constantly scrubbing around trying to get some bits and pieces. I was digging around, doing some research and bits of stuff, and I happened to happen to come across a um, a job opening, um, you know, for a large um, MOD contractor, and uh, they kind of literally normally when you read job spec lists of their office, sort of like senior photographers and things of like that of various areas, they are for the world, and normally yeah. for you know racks of money. Yeah, and it's not like yeah. you know, it's like mate, I I know photographers that can do all that, and they would charge that per day. Yeah. You know, it's just like you are wishing. So it was kind of like read all the stuff, and, and, it, and the job description was actually very straightforward. It was kind of like tip, tip, tip. It wasn't trying to you know smoke and mirrors anyone from reading yeah. it. It was very straightforward. That's kind of like I do all that. Yeah. Just basically wrap <laughs> portfolio. Yeah. Fired it off, didn't really think of anything more of it. Next thing I know, phone call. Next thing I know, interview. Next thing I know, I'm heading up to MOD base. Next thing I know, literally, I'm within two weeks, I'm moving over to Wiltshire, basically to a new place of living and starting working where I am now, which is mine. Right. Um, and that's where I've been now for the last two years, literally taking photographs as a civilian. Literally, I, I may as well grow a unicorn out of my head. Um, as a civilian 
doing photography full time on contract for the army. I only know of one other one other dude that's doing that as a civilian. It's you know we are rare as hen's teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know he's ex navy photographer, so he's you know done that. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got his background. He's there. got his background, so he's kind of like straight. So as a pure civilian coming into this world, kind of daunting because kind of like hi everybody, you know it's it's yeah, a little bit like that. Obviously they you know for you to get to that stage. They must like, you know, they must have really liked your portfolio. Yeah. Yeah, or, because I'm sure they even got someone that was like 80% of you. Or the, or the, or the 500 good of you. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> or the bribes. The bribes. I'm just saying, you know, the, 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 the red backs that were sticking out the back of the portfolio. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And then they're like, yeah. With a little post note, shh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so obviously they must have liked your, you know, liked your work. Um, like I say, you know, to, to get a civilian contractor in above, obviously, there must be other military photographers out there. Oh, gotcha. You know, yeah, there's, 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 I mean, uh, RLC have, you know, the, um, you know, they, they run the, the, the Fox the photographers down in Andover. And they are very, very, very good. Um, you know, the, the, the competition that was just held, um, which every year, um, you know, the, the, the photography team in Andover hosts a competition where... Yeah. All the military thoughts, um basically submit our like, best photographs of the year, you know, sort of you know, goes into a pile. Um, and also any, so there's two categories, there's professional category and there's amateur category. Yeah. Now professional category is anyone that's employed as a photographer who's a soldier or a civil servant. Okay, so that's like pocket number one. Yeah. There's about 45, 50 of them. The amateur category is um, anyone, any soldier, Anyone employed by the army can enter. You yeah. know, so you don't yeah. have to be an employed photographer. So, so for instance, me and Muggins here were off, in, off, in, in, in the army and just went, oh, we're going to You can yeah. take photographs and you can enter them. Okay. You know. So it's, there's the two categories set aside, you put in. Now, um, I mean, to begin with, there was a little bit, because it was like, it was like you really got to be, you know, uh, RRC photographer or civil service. I'm neither, I'm a unicorn. Yeah. You know, so like, uh, yeah. So how do you know? So, email, just basically, you know, email the news desk over there. They're awesome, they got back in touch with me. They're kind of like, actually, yeah, you are an oddity. Yeah. So they went away, double checked with the rules, you know, spoke to the person yeah. running the competition, came back with about uh, a week and a half to go before the end of the day. went, yeah, you can enter. As a professional, I was kind of like, great, you give right. me a week and a half. So I'm like, going, ah, looking through my portfolio, um, you know, digging through images. And so I've got to look at the images. Then I've got to go and literally kind of find, I've got to get approval for them to go out into the big wide world because it's kind of like, you know, there's, there's all the heat yeah, yeah. Um, in So literally for a week, I was, I was literally, my hair was on fire. I've got like, you know, a rocket coming out of my butt. It's, you know, it, it was mental. But got a portfolio together, pinged them over. They arrived literally the day before um, the competition took place. So, yeah, so obviously you went to the competition. Yeah. Now, obviously, I've, I've seen the pictures that got you the awards. Yeah. Now, uh, I don't know if you saw them. Did you? you yeah, saw them. Yeah, yeah. So what? So what were? What were the awards? What were the awards? Yeah. So in so in in the port in the portrait category in for for portraiture in the army. Yeah. I came runner up. In okay. The, so I I got silver. Silver. I got a silver medal. Um, it's, it's a medal. It's still a medal. It's a medal. I, I don't have a medal. I have a medal either. Um, and you, you should have one. That's why he's here. <laughs> that's, why, <laughs> that's why we're going here. <laughs> so cool. Okay. Um, and then in uh, sports category, I actually got both silver. So sport, sports category of you know sports in the army, I got both a silver and a gold award. So right. I kind of won it and won it again. <laughs> Um, so, as, so as, if, as if he's not, yeah, not good enough to win it. And second know. place guy, but, 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 yeah. and first place, what the? F- <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. It was just like, guys, don't walk out, just stand on stage, just stand on stage, shake your hands, it's like. And then you, yeah, what, why can't I hold all these medals? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, you got third, you got the carry. Yeah, yeah, you, peasant. Awesome, okay, so that was in the sports category. So, like sports category. So, so that was the one with the, um, uh, it was it was the boxing image. Yeah. The, the, the one that won was the fist bump. Yeah. Um, you know that was that 
that was a, you know, it was, and people kind of said, oh, that's a lucky shot, and I'm like, it wasn't luck, that wasn't a lucky shot, that was a case of, um, if that was a lucky shot, it would have been blurry, fuzzy, but that lighting conditions for that shot was horrific. Yeah. Um, there was literally like six chicken lights hanging over the the, um, the boxing ring. Yeah. yeah. No other lights where they're actually walking. So the iron side was dark. The boxing right. rings are inherently dark. Dark. Yeah. 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 Well, the the ring is normal. Sorry, the ring is the really lit. The ground area is. But then outside, dark, yeah. dark as sin. So literally, you have the ice and I, because I've been darting in and out between the ring side, and also the boxers getting wrapped up. because I was doing like behind the scenes images and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Really cool images. And um, I just heard, literally, it was like a little rumour going around, so like, oh yeah, it's probably something fist bump, I see that. Nah, no, you won't have a ball for that, nah. You know, it's kind of, so I was like, <laughs> something's going on, you know, so a little bit of a tip off here. Yeah. So, you know, I was kind of, so there's that little bit of sort of like, actually, I'm not just going to wait for him to get into the ring, which is what I was taking of everybody else. Actually, right, quick mic test. Yeah, yeah. so it's good for that. Yeah. So I was thinking, well, I can quickly dial back when he's back in the ring. But I'll make sure that my light sensor outside the ring and now that so he came so he came out, big fanfare, does look does does a little strutty walking along. And it was literally, you know, to be honest, you know, the position that I was in could have put him back on the other side, I'm not sure. But literally came out and on cue went to fist bump the CIO and it was basically bang. Yeah. Did you, you know. have, did you did you see it there and then and think yes that's a goal? That's no, a goal I didn't. Like no, I didn't. Um, you know, I was like, Brah, got a little collection of that, and I was thinking, right, he's going back into the ring, so right, dial back into the settings that I had previously. Yeah. So yeah, you're the focused thing on. I'm the next. moving on to the yeah. I'm moving you know, on to the next. You, you constantly your head's on a swivel. Yeah. You know, you know, you're not chimping that much. You know, the only bit of chimping that you might do is kind of go right to left. You know, is the settings correct? Click, quick little light check, see this around. Yeah, everything's good. Carry on. Yeah. Um. But you just, you know, you're just doing that. Your peripheral vision is just going nuts on an event like that. And I'm the only photographer there. So I'm trying to cover these. So if, you don't, if you miss something, yeah, it's got, yeah, then yeah. you missed it. Simple as. Um, so no, so carry on with the night. Yeah. Um, and it's probably, and from that night, I probably took over 6,000 images. Jesus. Which then I've got to go through yeah, for to pick that one. Yeah. And, and to be honest, I've, I've forgotten about it. You know, I was kind of going, because, you know, the box was like, oh, you want to see the photo, see the photo. So I'm going through all there and just getting like a really cool box yeah. looking for the connecting shots. Everything else, I'm like, I yeah. can wait. So it was only until for a good few weeks, even a couple of months later, uh, this is going back in March, that I was kind of going back through and I was like, oh, that's a good shot. Well, no. mm. you know, yeah. so just a little tinker around with it and just sort of like change a couple of the light levels, not, you know, change it that's too much. Average. Just make it pop out, do what I normally do with the images. Uh, I was like, yeah, that's that is. I was like, clicked it onto five stars, put it on the shelf. You know, yeah. and, and, and this is the thing, it's, it's you know, work, working, working you know, within the military or something, it's, it's awesome. You get to do some cool, cool, cool stuff, but so much of my work is never seen. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's, it's just kind of like. Just, just <laughs> to remind you guys, obviously, speaking about, you know, finding. A, a good image out of uh, a ton. I mean, we were talking. What was it like? Three hundred and something images yeah. today. Yeah. So we're three hundred and seventy something images. In the space of how many hours? So I think we finished getting set up about half past eleven, and then we shot was... at about three four o'clock. Right. So I would say three four hours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If they... So it, it, we were smashing through in a decent yeah. rate. And the, and the nice thing was because what we we're doing was quite structured in terms of what we were wanting with each set. We were able to clunk around in quite a decent way. Yeah. So each shot, we're gonna look and go, I'll either, either kind of go, yay, or it's like, nah. Mm-hmm. It's just the wrong angle, not quite working, not quite yeah. strong enough in terms of the stars, yeah. being it. Then I'll be, you know, come from us, okay. That's, that's the that's one. That's the one. Yeah. So uh, what I was gonna say, guys, is um, obviously we've got so much media, and it's, guys, it was a ton of great photos, like, today. Yeah. Um, but just a little sneak preview, what we're gonna do, Guy is kind of gonna, Upload. Yeah, if you, well, literally, if you guys chat and discuss, I'll get on and do yeah. some uploading now. So, yeah. so Guy's going to give you a little, he's going to upload three images. Three images. Three images, uh, like right, he's doing it right now. So oh, we, of we, today. We, of today. So we give you guys a little sneak preview. 
of, um, of today's, or, or kind of what we got up to. Um, I mean, I'm so excited. Like, Me too. I'm, I'm, I'm like a dog, dog with two dicks right now. Um, we, we, uh, we, had a, we had a good laugh. While we've got these two minutes, um, we are, we're getting asked a lot about um, you know, what structure we've had for today. Is there going to be stuff behind the scenes? There will be behind the scenes stuff. There will be a video released on my channel of like a compilation of videos. Um, stills, stills yeah. uh, time lapses of today. Yeah. Um, just while we've got a lot of people in here, and obviously because this is going out on YouTube, I've had an absolute ton of feedback about the changes uh, to the channel video. Um, now that I've got Guy here, Richie and myself, um, yes, there's going to be a lot of changes. I've been asked loads of questions about why I've decided to do this, you know, what the uh, content's going to be. And all I can really say, being here with Richie, is that me and Richie have been speaking about how I move the channel on a lot. Yeah, we? yeah we've, 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 we've had... For, for maybe a month. I mean, if, if we've spoke um, three, twice, three times a day, every day, for the past two weeks, um, about how we how yeah. we move this forward. How, how it's all going to happen, yeah. And we've now, you know, strangely enough, as just it's come to pass, I guess, is that new people have come on board, old people have gone out the door, you know, all civil, all, every, all the relationships yeah, yeah. are good, no one's upset. We've just decided to push into a new direction. And we've had new people come on board out of the blue. Yeah. Some really interesting ventures come on board um, yeah. in a variety of different fields. Now, this is not all airsoft and Milsim stuff. This moves into other military, you know, I guess military departments, isn't it? Yeah, well, we're talking uh, military. Um, Can you say another one about giving it too much? Give it away, medical or not? Uh, yeah, like, say for instance, like, uh, EDC, so Everyday Carry Survival. Survival. Well, let's, yeah, let's, say, like let's say Survival, yeah, Survival. And we're going to say, um, yeah, like, uh, for, we're, let's, let's call it First Aid, okay? For, yeah, we'll first Aid. we we'll call it First Aid, so, um, yeah, so like, like Tim said, we were trying to move in various different directions. But the way I see it, and I'm sure Tim will agree, we're trying to push it at a, I don't want to say a, a more advanced level, but we just want to try and, you know, help everyone out and try and put, import, pass on more knowledge from yeah. more sources, you know, of, of, uh, of, of you know, of knowledge and um, input from very different angles. Like I say, so survival, military, first aid. So basically, we can we can bring all this together, all this various knowledge, uh, you know, onto one channel. Yeah. Um, so that's that's kind of where we're heading. Um, but there's yeah, there's so much stuff that's going to come from this, uh, and it's still coming from this. Yeah, I think that's the main thing. Like when I was looking at the channel, I was like, well, how do I take this forward? And and the, the issue with it was, is I personally can't take it forward myself. I'm, I'm imparting as much knowledge as I can onto people, and that isn't enough. Um, so, Richie coming on brings a whole lo load of knowledge to the channel. Um, Guy coming on brings a whole new level of information. Yeah. Plus, he's helping us in a ton of different areas. One with the media he's created today, the setup, um, he's helping us with our production, he's helping us in a ton of different areas that invariably, if you give us a bit of time, obviously, um, will bring this production level to a whole new level. Plus, he's inviting us in on projects that quite frankly are insane. Stuff yeah. that we would never get involved in. So there's a brand that Guy works really closely with that we'll be talking about probably in uh, in the next 15, 20 minutes um, that we're gonna get involved in. Other than that, we would never be able to see like a day of that project. So, yeah. you know, we've also got one more person that's gonna be coming to our, to our table, um, an author, amazing military background, um, a rock star aura of <laughs> very strange nature. Film uh, producer? Film producer, film director. Producer, director. Um, who is amazing. Um, he will also be taking up our fitness stuff. I will yeah. uh, at some point in the next week post uh, some pictures up of his, uh, of some of the adventures he's been in. Uh, might even link you through to his, his he's, uh, he's, Instagram. He's, he's just an all, all round badass. He's, he's, he's an all round really badass, is. yeah. yeah. Um, so a good guy. A good guy. A very good guy, yeah. yeah. We've, we've hung yeah. out of him a bit, myself and Richie, uh, so he's going to be coming to the page. So yeah, you know, we're going to be pushing on. More content, yeah. more people bringing, you know, more expertise, and that was the whole thing. So all the yeah. guys that were worried about me disappearing and going to do cooking and 
dog breeding <laughs> and, and uh, arts and crafts. That's not going to happen. Yeah. It's still going to be very milsey and military focused. We're just bringing experts in, yeah. guys that will give you better information than, than I can. But, but like, like Tim said, you know, although we're bringing uh, more knowledge from you know more knowledgeable people than us in various areas of military survival, fitness, etc. Um, we, we still, we're still not, you know, we're still hugely focused around kit. So, you know, we won't, we're not, it's not like we're leaving that behind. Um, if anything, we're pushing further and further into different, different areas. I don't say better brands, different brands, because until we've got our hands on it, you know, we can't, we can't pass that early. But, you know, we've been lucky enough to get our hands on some really, really good brands. So especially today, we've, we've, yeah. just, we've played some really Gucci kit Yeah, today. some really good kit. Um, Guy, quick question, where are these pictures going? So literally, the I've just uploaded the last one now. So, Instagram, um, if you literally just search Guy Butler Photography. Right, okay, but what's the uh, at, Okay. Is it? Let me, let me just do this real quick, at okay? Guy Butler. Guy underscore Butler, Butler right, underscore okay. Photography. Right. So I'm just going to check this out real quick. So if I search, okay, Guy, Guy underscore butler underscore photography. There you go. So guys, so literally, you only have to go as far as writing Guy Butler in the Instagram search, and it is literally his second one. His second one down. Guy Butler. GPP. So yeah, guys, um, a few people have put it with like airsoft for grown ups. Um, It's still going to appeal to everyone of all age ranges, but what we're going to try and do is bring content here that you're not going to get anywhere else. So you know, it's very rare that you're going to get. Someone who, for example, if I'm thinking about one person that wants to come down, served for 14 years, done four years PMC, um, will come down here and he will talk to us about his adventures, plus potentially throw up some drills, throw up some stuff that you can do, give up some recommendations, talk about kit, talk about when he was deployed and what kit he used, you know, you can have a gas, give him a gin and tonic and have a gas, you know, things like that uh, is yeah. content that you're not going to get anywhere else. Um, you know, a lot of the magazines are struggling to get decent content in them because a lot of the magazines that are out there are shit. Um, and so, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll vent about. I'll, I'll let you carry on. But yeah, so yeah, I'll vent about that in a second. But, but guys, you know, this is what it's about. We're trying to bring more content so that you can come to the channel, which is going to be completely rebranded. We're literally focused on it at the moment. We're finalising yeah. stuff. When you can come to the channel that is now around the trashy, it will be a new home and it's going to have a whole variety of content. We're going to have tech stuff, we're going to have um, cinematography, photography, um, how a guy gets his shots. If you guys are interested in being out there on the ground getting action shots, how he does it, how he composes himself, what gear he uses when he's out on the ground, as well as stuff coming from Richie, comms, nav. Uh, real advanced stuff that I personally couldn't go into. I'm still going to be doing all of the reviews. We have fitness, health, nutrition coming from uh, another person that's going to be coming yeah. to the channel. Nearly dropped his name. Whoa, like that. Whoa. Um, so look, there's there's tons of stuff coming yeah. in. We really want to bring a diverse, high quality caliber of content to you, um, and that's the change. That's the that's the big secret. As well as um, you know, I'm going to be doing some podcasts. Um, Richie can't make the next one because he's away, but I'm going to be doing Airsoft Nation with Graham and we've got loads of stuff, we're going to do more live shows, we're going to be hooking up with different businesses and brands, we're going to be going and visit people, you know, we're going to yeah. be bringing diverse content to you and, uh, and uh, uh, hopefully a, a better production level, so yeah, that's, that's where yeah. we're at. And obviously, like, you know, in, in the coming months, obviously, you know, we've only got a limited amount of time, you know, that we can squeeze into any one live stream, so... You know, like we've gone here, you know, obviously we can try and cover what we cover today, what guy's been up to in the past few months, what he's gonna do in the next few months, but you know, in a couple of months' time, hopefully, if if if, if guy's willing, uh, we can get him back and like Tim said, we can maybe run through some more advanced stuff. <laughs> yeah, listen, we'll give him some rum, we'll see him <laughs> Guy and has an idea of rum that you can't see that yeah. secretly goes up his trouser leg and it's <laughs> <part of laughs> <some, laughs> this part to the side. <laughs> so it's actually <laughs> So yeah, it's so obviously, you know, the guys, the guys that are out there, like Tim said, that want to, uh, you know, a pro guy a bit more about more in-depth stuff that's yeah. way over my head, you know. And this is what we do. This is what we try and get the experts from each field. Yeah. Like, yeah. Guy, you know, personally, I don't think there's anyone better in his field that does what he does. You well, know? he is the unicorn. If the mod yeah. have chosen him out of the... Him three awards. Three, three, three. three awards. Not two. Three. Three. So, yeah, you know, we'd love to get him down, run through some more in-depth stuff, and uh, yeah. yeah, that'd be awesome. 
Uh, so yeah, right, guy, the photos are up, there he's feeling back flying. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh is, uh, shit! Is, uh, <laughs> um, Airsoft Nation have just wrote, Tim looking down a uh, RPG. <laughs> <laughs> Richie told me that if I held both triggers down and looked down, it would take a photo of me, so being yeah. the man that I am. Press button and wait for flash. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> and it's, it, it, it's, it's it's the first time I, I've ever had to had to it was it draw 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 yeah, it is, um... Is it again? <laughs> <laughs> Ballistic Suitco of Savile Row. Um, Savile Row, yeah. Paris and Hereford. Ballistic Suitco, basically they are the first line of defence in dinner suits. Yeah. Um, well, Two piece, three piece. piece. Dinner suits lounge wear, um, evening suits. And yeah. spandex. Yeah. But it, it's, it's going to be... Spandex and latex. Spandex, latex and Kevlar. And Kevlar. 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 Spandex, latex, Kevlar. <laughs> Um, yeah, so <laughs> it's, it's okay, I like it. Um, yeah, so guy, the photos have gone up. Obviously, you're happy about today. Mm. What, what, you, let's uh, let, let's crack on. So, we, yeah, you, you're clearly a, a very accomplished guy. Uh, you've got some shit up kit. What, what's your plan? What are you up to, you know, in the future? What, what can you talk to us about? I mean, we know that you know, day to day, you are on a military base, you're called out at last minute to go in. Um, so Go and photograph some exciting scenes, you get yeah. to play in tanks and all this stuff. You make it sound so cool, it's just yeah. like... Well, it is kind of cool. cool. Like, um, we see pictures going over like tanks and patties and stuff, and I'm like, dude, this is... This like, is a rock star lifestyle. Yeah. When, when I'm the only one who's sharing my, my images, I'm kind of like, yeah, well, I'm going to tank myself in with those images. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm just taking my me, excuse me. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, yeah, they can't get a bit more all the time. So obviously, like Tim said, there's some stuff you can't tell us about, no. but, um, but yeah, what, what can you tell us about you, you have to... I mean, okay, so day to day, I mean, my, uh, so, you know, my, av- my average day varies so much. Um, you know, there are very, very few jobs where you can say that you turn up to work and you're not, you know, you're not sure what's going to happen that yeah. day, you know, get fire, you know, firefight, you know, anything like that. Yeah. But, any kind of general office worker. I do classify myself as an office worker to a point. Um, you know, I'm contracted Monday to Friday, you know, eight you know, eight to five. As yeah. a photographer, that's rare as anything. Yeah. You know, it's like photography is free months. Yeah. Unless you're working for, you know, uh, you know, big fashion house up in London, you know, a uh, large department store that's got, you know, yeah, you know, like range. They're the people that will hire full-time photographers. Any other business, that's nah, three months. Because it's, you know, it's, the cost effectiveness is just isn't there. So, contracted jobs are rare. Yeah. Straight up. Um, so, day to day, turn up, um, come to base, and I will look through uh, sort of jobs for the day that I've got. Not probably jobs for the week, anything that's dropped in, you know, any, any little fast forms and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and sometimes my day would involve me literally just, you know, sitting down, editing through on, you know, previous yeah. images that I've shot the day before. So it's supposed to sit down, cup of coffee, fire up the computer, sit down, and as I would do at home if I'd done a freelance job, same thing. Yeah, you know, no, you're just on base. Simple as, you know, especially rock up, park up, go to my office, sit down, log in, away you go. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's <coughs> I mean, we have um, the, formal images that we will take for the army. Um, so there'll be, you know, that would be what you classify as portraiture. You yeah. know, and, and it could be individual portraits, it could be group portraits. You know, and that's kind of, you know, that would be sort of, yeah, book them in advance, bish bash bosh, go out, three photographs, you know, different exposures, make sure everything's happy. Yeah. <coughs> Look for them all, but hopefully everyone's got their eyes open. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, go down, you know, add the artwork, print off done. Um, and then what about the on call stuff that you've mentioned where it's like grab your bag, let's, let's rock. Can you talk about that one? Yeah, I mean, it, I mean I, again, that's generally just when something happens on base that 
it may not have, you know, the information hasn't quite got to me in time. So literally underneath my desk, I've got, and I didn't bring it with me, it's back at the hotel, but it's, it's, um, it's uh, so the bag that I use day to day is, it has a four bag. Uh, company, uh, as I said, has a four, and it's the, um, is it a takedown? It's not a takedown, it's the um, oh, Recon, Recon Sling. Yeah. Um, it's, it's like a big tube, big pad tube. You've got a top access flap, you've got a side area which you can get in for your lenses, and it's molly all around. So I've got another couple of pouches dotted around it. <coughs> so inside that is camera, memory cards, um, batteries are in it. I've got a couple of spare lenses on the side, a couple of spare batteries on the front, flash gun, got a little video camera tucked in the side. Literally EDC. Photographer's dream. Pretty much. Yeah. So it's, you know, if all of a sudden, you know, we come, and, it, and it happened one time, uh, we, uh, so Remy 75 has taken place. So MOD Lion, uh, Remy is their, uh, it's their new home that they moved into two years ago. And we, uh, this year it was their 75th anniversary. So they were, um, you know, uh, the regiment was born just before D Day took place, it's only 75 years old, it's a young regiment, very yeah. young regiment. Um, so they held their, their, their big party uh, middle of this year. And um, so I'm sat there, boop, 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 the day beforehand, just, you know, getting kind of, not stuff ready for it, but just chilling out, I've, you know, started to archive stuff, cleaning everything up, massive day ahead. And all I can hear is noise, so I'm like, oh, I had a couple of lying in the next prize and all, and we've always got things flying over here mm. all the time. It's getting louder. Getting out of that. I don't know, something, something fruit is going on. So, walk outside, and big old AH Patchy just basically buzzing around the car. Whoa! Grab! Yeah. Run, sprinting out. <laughs> so, I'm running down the brake, literally, you know, slinging the camera out, trying to sort of. You're like, getting ready on the road. Yeah, it's literally just me running whilst trying to change the lens is the most interesting <laughs> thing to see. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when this has worth like four well, like, grand. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, which one's going to go down first? <laughs> um, so I sprint now and, you know, skid to a stop and literally get it as it's just coming to land, you know. And it's, a lot of the time it's just fast balls, you know, it's yeah. just where... Being reactive. Yeah, you know, yeah. all of a sudden something, something's happening on the side of the base, you know, so I'm like, oh, you know, might be worth it. Oh, okay, grab, go. Yeah. Because it's going on, they're not going to repeat it, frankly, they're not going to repeat it for me. Mm. Yeah. So it's going to get my butt over there. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, it, it, so a lot of it is being able to sit down, you know, a lot of it is monotonous. You know, it's, it's, it's as it would be in any other photo freelance job, where it's yeah. kind of, I've got a job booked in, crack on, do it, deliver it, next yeah. one. And you just keep rolling on that, and then you do get the fun one. Where all of a sudden it's kind of like, oh, actually, yeah, there's going to be, you know, something a bit juicy yeah. going on. You're kind of like, ooh, ooh, ooh <laughs> this one. And all of a sudden, it, you know, it really perks you up. You start to, oh, you know, you're looking at the weather, start planning ahead. You chat to the guys that are, you know, doing the, doing the exercise or doing the planning. It's kind of like, oh, doing something. And so you can start to creatively plan what your weekend's going to be. Yeah. yeah. What, what that just job's going to be. Yeah, you know? so you can, you can then plan, if you can work out what they're doing, you can kind of not plan shots, but maybe think about what's possible. You can arrange to be at the right place yeah. at the right time, yeah. and that's and that's my big argument where it comes down to it's not luck. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it, it, it's a decent photographer. It's planning it, too. It it is making sure that you've got the right information to be at the right place at roughly the right time. Yeah, you've planned. You've got the right lens on. You've checked your light settings. Yeah literally just kind of like, right, everything's good, everything's happy, what actually is going to take place, you don't know. No, yeah. You never know what's going to take place, but you're there ready for whatever takes place. Yeah. And that's, that's when that little fraction of luck comes into it, that you just, every, you know, the nine billion years of evolution of, you know, the galaxy is taking place yeah. to be there at the right time. Yeah. You mean not, not a higher being? <laughs> oh, we're not going there. We're we're not going going to... <laughs> Any higher or lower being? Okay. So right. Um, right. So, I have got a couple of quick questions. Sorry, before we bounce on, and I think that they're, they're quite relevant. Right, as well. cool. So, yeah. does the army supply all of your kit that you use, or is it your own kit that you provide yep. the job? So the army just basically, when I first arrived, the army pretty much just went, give us a list, and I gave them a list, 
and I got a very sharp answer on it was about seven <laughs> words that came out of their mouth quite angry. Yeah. Was, was like, the last one off? Pretty or much, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. um, but no, they, 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 what they supplied actually, I was very, because I, I, I asked for this, I expected that, yeah. they gave me this. Right. So, yeah. actually, so actually, they, they didn't scrimp, yeah. you yeah. know, in, in terms of what they wanted. And they, they cool. questioned it. I was like, no, if you, if you want these kind of images, you're going to have to invest. Got, yeah. And they did. Mm -hmm. And it so enabled me to get very, very good results from the site. Awesome. Yeah. So, so that's, sorry, one question. Yeah, and then sure. the other question is actually one that I, I wondered about myself, and I kind of know the answer. Um, but it says, oh, um, have you considered going into cinematography slash videography? Um, you know, if so, why, why not? What, you know, your thoughts on it? Obviously, video is a... Uh, yeah, absolutely. Now, a camera's not, you know, even DSLRs and that, they're yeah. not just a DSLR. A lot of them do very high quality video as well, so you, know, you do have the equipment to do it. I mean, Absolutely. Um, you know, I have dabbled in it. One of my roles on base is to work as the videographer on base. So if yeah. there's events going on, if there's things that need video and capturing, that is also my role as well. I put my hand up, I'm a photographer. Right. That is what I do very well and I'm able to do pretty much with both hands time behind my back and blindfolded. Yeah. Videography is one of those things where I know enough about to do it. Am I able to apply the, the same amount of skill set in my photography into videography? No. Right. There are people out there that are very good cinematographers. Yeah. And you go into a whole different level of psychology of you know how you tell a story, right. video process. Yeah, massively. Am I able to rock around the camera and document stuff and, you know, sort of cut it together and do those things to make it look a good video? Yeah. But to do cinematography at, at, a, at the level of which I do photography, you know, it's one of those things of sort of like, to be able to do both, if somebody was to come along and say, I do both, I'd be like, mm, how well? It's like, let's yeah. see portfolio. If, you know, if, that's, if they can do happy days, but I'd be sceptical. Yeah. that they could do both to such an extreme level. It's, it's generally, you invest in one, because again, it's the investment of the equipment. Yeah. You know, for, for good cinematography, you know, for the gimbals, for the glides, for, oh, you yeah. know. If you've you got know, red cams and stuff like that, they're silly. You money. start going into silly money. Um, I mean, the best cinematography, hands down, that I've ever seen from any kind of company, globally, um, is something called Brain Farm, yeah. um, over in the States. Um, if anybody's ever watched, um, uh, uh, basically, if you go on uh, iTunes, um, Art of Flight um, with Travis Rice, it's, it's not Red Bull, snowboarding. Yeah. Um, they brought out That's It, That's All years ago, and they threw you know, a chunk of money at it, and you know, sort of like, you know, Red Bull gave them a fair chunk. Yeah. Brain Farm went out, made this film, and it just blew every sports video that had ever been made before out of the water in terms of it was like they were filming it as if it was like a wildlife and one program you know so yeah. like they got cineflexes on helicopters like doing these pans around the snowboarders and they're going down the sides of the mountains just like it's completely uh, new level stuff yeah. rather than i've got a gopro on yeah massive level and then with um when art of flight came out it just took it to a whole new level and then and and uh, the guy that you know, runs that company, it's proper sort of like, it, it's about the art of it. It's about the art of the cinematography. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's it. And you watch it and just go, and, you know, take yeah. it after that. You know, yeah. it's, you know, it goes with it. Yeah, it does. So it's a case, of, it's, yeah, it's pushing it in, in terms of what you do. Yeah, like you say, so some, someone has put time and effort into oh, just the thought process of everything just to get in the, in the yeah, yeah, that, that next yeah. level. Yeah. I think the other thing that I found with video is how time consuming it is. I mean, yes. with photography, I've been lucky to do a couple of shoots now, and I kind of realised that once you're in there and things are set up, unless you're going to start changing backgrounds and you've got a lot of real big physical changes, once you set up, you're pretty much good to go. You've we got a production line. Yeah. yeah. How about that? Yeah. It was, it was that good so really yeah. that. Whereas with the video, it's continually changing. So all you have to do is move six meters and the lighting, the shadows, the choreography, everything can change from just panning the camera around. So the, the thing that we noticed is we were taking, take and take and take and take. 
just to get one sequence. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So just to move from here to the edge of the room, we've done six or seven takes, but the scene of that clip is just one fluid scene. Do you know what it's, yeah. I just found that cinematography and videography, and, um, it was Matt that was asking about this, and Matt's done a lot of video work yeah. uh, when we were doing the drift scene. Um, just how time can show. I mean, Matt would take three or four days of work to do oh, a yeah. three minute drift video. For, for good cinematography, you need the team around you in terms of whoever's going to be whoever, the talent yeah. that's going to be in front of the video, in front of the in front of the lens, and then also if you've got a little bit of team behind you, you've got to have a team that understand that this is for cinematography. Yeah. This isn't just documenting just one take and just that. In this case, no guys, this is going to be over and over again yeah. to get this correct. It's not like photography. In this case, I can just like drop that again. In this case, no. For cinematography, it, it's to tell a story. Yeah. And you know, you look at like if some of the small bits of like the behind the scenes of like Stanley Kubrick's work, it's just like more craft. Yeah. You know, you look at his own style. Yeah. It, it's yeah. a different mindset. It, it's 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 a bit like you know an accountant and somebody from marketing. You know, that's kind of what I'd say with videography and photography. It is two very different skill sets yeah. that somebody could do. You know, they, they could do both. Of both yeah. But they are different. They are yeah. different skill sets. Mate, I've had a lot of people commenting about how good of an answer that was, how grounded it was, how honest you've been. So that's awesome. So good, good, good feedback. Guys, we are just over the hour mark. So we're an hour and 10 minutes in. Hmm. Um, mm. We've covered a lot of yeah. um, what you've been up to, your history. What, what, uh, what's in the future? So that's what you're up to. What you, bear in mind, look, it's not that he's going to be free until next year. He just can't talk about what he's doing. <laughs> uh, guy has, I'm busy. Guy, guy I'm has busy. more secrets. So I've said to God, oh, what are you doing after Christmas? I, I, I can't tell you. So, um, just shut up. <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> um, yeah. So Guy is extremely busy, but what we have asked him is in his future to tell us about the things that you can talk about yeah. um, and the exciting things you're up to. So, you know, what's, uh, what's next? Well, yeah, so, I mean, the next, uh, so the next thing out, so, army, keep that to one side for a second. It's good. Um, <laughs> uh, so, at the moment, um, so, chatting to uh, a company overseas um, that I've done some work for pre previously about uh, two, three years ago. Um, got back in touch with it and it, it, nothing's confirmed yet, you know, so I'm not saying sort of like it's going to happen, but we're, you know, sort of just discussing the possibility of doing other ships. So it's kind of like sweet. We're, we're UK, of, overseas, can you uh, say? UK, but the uh, company is based overseas, overseas uh, but we're planning to do the shoot in the UK. Uh, so there's sort of a UK take on it, so we've kind of, kind of thought about some areas, you know, some locations. Um, and yeah, it's very early days, very much kicking stuff in the ground for mix. But it's something that kind of like sweet. It's the good thing about being working where I am is that I can be selective over the freelance jobs that I take on. Yeah. You know, I, I, it's not like you're desperate for a job. I get to pick and choose who I work for. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My life sucks. Um, you know, it, it's it's lovely. It's it's the fact that I can um, have a company come to me and kind of go, you know, this is who we are. This this is what we do. Um, these are our products, and I, you know, if you look and go, you know, if I'm bought into it, then it's kind of like sweet. You it know, makes things easier for you. Yeah, you work with a product that you. No, I'm kind of like, nah. you know, it's it's honest. I'm, I'm unfortunately I'm too honest for my own liking. So company came to me, they 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 shipped a ton of stuff out to me back then. Picked up, and I was kind of like, wow, this is not, you know, the usual kind of bits and pieces that you normally get. So we did the shoot. I actually went a bit OTT on the photo shoot first time round. I was meant to just do a whole load of social media pieces to just like kick some bits and pieces around and yeah. then use it as stock imagery. When I get stock imagery, just kind of like, you know, they're just like, man, just, we want social media stuff. And um, so myself, um, Ryan down in Tiverton, uh, a couple of other guys, we basically went to Dartmoor, we took the studio that we pretty much use today without the backdrop, yeah. but used the entire lighting setup, lighting setup in the middle of Dartmoor wow. with, with a power generator <laughs> to go with. Can you imagine um, someone coming along being like, <laughs> we did actually have an Andrew and Ben kind of like, we got a lot of lights that night. Like, <laughs> <laughs> these guys are signaling, signaling space. Yeah. Yeah. Just going off. Um, but I mean, 
So in the middle of Dartmoor, we took the strokes down there. We were doing literally a studio shoot, but in the middle of Dartmoor. That's amazing. And the photos that we got from that were amazing. Um, and me being me, I'm kind of like, I'm not sure, you know, I'm mm. totally OCD with the images. I send them back overseas. And literally it was kind of like, yeah, we, we didn't quite expect you to do that, you know, so we just, we just wanted to yeah. like, no, just like, stuff laid out the kitchen table. Yeah, you know, it was just kind of like, this is this cool? cool. Um, so they were kind of like, yeah. and, and they, you know, they still use those images for, you know, on, as like their big banner images mm-hmm. and stuff like that now, it's kind of like, cool. Cool. Yeah. you know, so that it, it's the fact that those images, they, from what I can tell, really appreciate them. Mm-hmm. We're happy with them. Um, so the idea is, what we're going to do is do what we did with that, but go to level 11, yeah. you know, and actually really push, push it even more in terms of time, people, logistic, just really kind of go, right, let's, uh, rather than kind of go, yeah, we kind of do something like this, yeah. pl- you know, mm-hmm. utterly plan it, be yeah. a timeline. Um, I've got to spell the shoe 2.0. Yeah, yeah. you know, okay. it's, that, that's kind of the aim with it. Yeah. Um, so, so aiming for that, uh, just beginning of January, uh, middle of winter, I like a challenge in the UK. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if, if, you, if the lights don't freeze over while well, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anything's waterproof, right? Well, well, you can waterproof. You can, you can actually. Well, there you go. So he's he, he just signed up for like, yeah, yeah. That's it. Done. It's well, boy. Okay, right. I don't like. I don't like easy. You know, straight up. If it's an easy photo shoot. Yeah, one day. Yeah. You know. It's it's like it's like anything. If you if you had a job that was dirt easy, and you just cash the money, yeah, it's great to begin with. Yeah, it's easy boring. money. Yeah. yeah, Your brain will turn to grey matter yeah. like that. Yeah. So it's having challenges, having a job that challenges feeds my brain like yeah. you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Um, so that's coming up January, and I mean the big plan is as well is to literally for the last two years, I'd say taken it easy with. I've kind of done the whole, um, I kind of did a John Wick where I just disappeared. Yeah. You know, and I, and I disappeared off the, off the airsoft scene. Literally, it was like, for sure, gone. Can you, you know? see a return to the airsoft photography? I have been asked it, and um, I thought, while well, you're chopping into that, do you, do you see a return to airsoft photography in the future? I mean, you, you've done a lot of events. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, but only for me and Richie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the last. I mean, the last. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, the last. The last big, not big one that I did was was the C word, and we're not allowed to say the C word. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Why not? You know, is it if you say it three times it reappears? I I go outdoors, spit on the floor, and come back out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the, the, the last yeah, big yeah, one yeah, that, yeah, was, that, yeah. you know, you know, with much and it. You know, that, that was awesome. And yeah. for me, doing that event, it was kind of like, it was so cool, so amazing. Yeah, it, it, and it's why I left, you yeah. know, I mean, I, I worked in an industry long time ago and I did the same kind of thing. I got to the absolute pinnacle of the career. Yeah. And I just thought, right, you know. Does it get any better than this? Yeah, yeah you, know, it, 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 you know, it's the, the whole like, walking on the moon syndrome. You do it, you come back to work and kind of like, this yeah. place is shit. What next? Yeah. You know, so yeah. it was that same. So, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought I was swearing on the. I know, it's my fat mouth. Yeah. But I know what you mean. Obviously, like I think it was like today. We um, we've been through the whole. We we can't let guys say and Tim say we had no idea what we were going to shoot. You know what we wanted to get done. Um, and I think we literally all in agreement. We took that last. We took that last photo. Um, can't say yeah. what it is. But literally, the probably the best photo of the day. Well, one of my favourite. Guy was smiling like a Cheshire cat. I was smiling. Oh, Tim, Tim was fuming. <laughs> Tim <laughs> thought he had won. Tim thought he had won. I thought I got the best photo of the day. Yeah. And he was literally doing a little dance and cutting oh, around the face. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so Richie. Richie and then Flat Higgins later. Richie cut in at like two minutes yeah. to midnight and um, literally stuff on the like Bam! <laughs> it was good. Um, yeah. So yeah, so you know, we, Guy was happy, I was super happy, Tim was happy. I'm super happy, With yeah. that last shot. Yeah. And again, we all sort of said, look, guys, let's wrap it there. So yeah, I completely see where you're coming from. You know, when you get that, when you, 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 you can't just finish yourself returning. 
it would it would have to be something special, right? Yeah. It would yeah. have it would have to be something that literally you know, dust off the old SRSPC, um, you know, dust off the old lid and you know, come yeah. out and yeah. come out and play. It it'd have to be something cool. Mm-hmm. But it, I mean, you know, it's it's not something that's kinda of like, oh mm, no, you know, kind of above that or anything like that. It's kind of said, yes, I do want to be working with more real still, you know, sort of like industries and stuff like that. Yeah. And pushing out on that front. But I fully understand that, you know, what has enabled me to work up through this is to work with some very cool people that have helped tons. Yeah. To yeah. every you know, to every year it's going to write portfolios there, right, where do I need to take my portfolio next year, right, up to here, right, yeah, and take it up to the next one. And it's constant in, constantly increasing and you're only as good as the job that you shot last week. Yeah. And you're always trying to push higher and higher. And you know, the S often did that massively to enable me to push out further. So Maybe, yeah, maybe. Never so, yeah. say never. never, yeah. never. So, if there are any guys out there, any uh, airsoft event event organisers, yeah. sites, just please put in something incredibly <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, allow us to bring a guy back. Yeah, yeah. allow us to bring a guy back yeah. to the scene. Um, I've got quite a cool question from the guys over at Cold Spear. How's it going, guys? Um, says, what is your most iconic photo you have ever taken for you uh, personally? So you know, not um, oh. you know, not yeah. award winning, not something you've done for customers. You know, a photo that you personally yeah. like. I'm fucking into that. Ooh, if you Sorry. actually uh, most iconic photograph, if you without pushing my website. If you actually go to my website, it's actually on there, and it's a picture of it. was one of the last flights of uh, the Balkan, yes. the Balkan bomber, oh. um, and it was a photograph that I got. I, I literally worked out the route that it was flying around because they always like tell me what routes they're flying mm-hmm. stuff like that, and I got a stupidly high step ladder. And I mean, this thing was like, <laughs> man, I, I'm totally unsafe. Yeah. <laughs> it was just kind of like, oh. Yeah. Um, Zero health and safety. Yeah, it was just yeah. like out the window. I was like, you know what, so let's go for it. And <laughs> so um, where else was this? This was out in Oxford. I okay. was in Oxford, Oxfordshire, and um, so it was, it was it was due to do like a low pass mm. for a, for a car show over there, and I got the little step ladder out, got it down, and, and you know you, they were like announcing that it's going to do its low five pass. Shimmy up, and I'm you know this is this was like an eighteen step ladder <laughs> on grass. <laughs> Same. <laughs> yeah. You know this this was kind of like yeah, yeah it's, it's really a bit dodgy, wrong. <laughs> really wrong. Um, shimmy up it, and the you know I couldn't have asked them to do a better thing because literally they came in. If if you go to my website, um, I've, I've just linked guys website on the chat. Chat. If you scroll down, there's a bulk of images and there's an image of a black and white. Vulcan, uh, Vulcan bomber, and literally I shimmied up to the top of this ladder, doing that, trying to keep my control. <laughs> but the guys piloting it, they came down so low that literally I was nearly at its height. You know, how high was your step ladder? <laughs> so <laughs> how low was the Vulcan? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit of that. Yeah. But it, it, it was a little mix of just they just. They just dipped at the right little yeah. angle that, you know, they brought it down a little bit lower. I was just high enough that I was looking at them as opposed to looking up right, at them. Yeah. And, you know, lens was maxed out, you know, so a big 400 mil lens, bosh. Yeah, and I was it. literally, got, and I, as soon as I took it, I was like, cool. yeah. got home, marked it in the camera immediately. Um, when I got home, got processing with it. So I've tried to do it in color. Yeah, and it was kind of like, ah, right, actually, let's let's put it into the black and white photo. I use I use a bit of software called Silver Effects. Yeah. Uh, so most of everything. So editing, I use Lightroom, Photoshop, and then um, a cracking bit of software suite called Nick Software N I K. Um, I mean, it's free. We um, like free. Touch. We like free. Free. Yeah. free. Um, got it in Silver Effects. Started tinkering around. And yeah, the, the magic started to happen, yeah. and then just putting bits of information out of that image, and yeah, just, just that image is just kind That's of like awesome. I've got it printed huge as well, and it's just like, boom. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Guy, um, what I'm going to ask everyone is if you are still in the chat, I know we've been going for nearly 90 minutes, so thank you very much for hanging mm. around with us. Um, if you've got any questions for Guy, please feel free to stick them in the chat now. I say that because um, if I don't have another gin and tonic, I'm going to shrivel and die. So, um, 
Guys, questions for Guy. Um, I have been asked, what's your favourite airsoft gun? Probably very generic. I think he's going to say a Sistema. See, yeah, I, 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 I was a Sistema owner. I put my hands up. I, I ran a Sistema for a couple of years. Loved it. Yeah, um, I I had, you know, I had a, um, had a blue cylinder and I had a red cylinder in it for some cheeky games. And it never missed a beat. I, uh, I didn't play around with it too much. I didn't yeah. try and it's do... It's a max kit. Sistema. No, to be honest, I can't remember. It was that long ago. But I remember... It, 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 you pulled the trigger with a bang. It, it, every single time. It did never skip like, yeah. a beat. And I know people... Some people love Sistema, some people hate them. Um, that thing was like my soulmate. You yeah. know, light maintenance on it. Kept it oiled up. I think I had a maintenance on it once, had a, a mm. very trusted friend of mine sort of like open it up, work on it. Yeah, um, just basic put, service. Basic service, got it back, carried on, again, never missed a beat. I, I then moved, I then still have, I've got a uh, uh, gas blow back Wii, uh, which basically used it for a couple of years ago for, um, for uh, basically working with a training company, an actual, um, uh, private security friend company we were looking at using um, the Wii systems as, as an actual force on force yeah. training system. Yeah. And um, it as a bit of like simulation or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I mean simulation's awesome, you've got to have a licenses for it, you've got to have it far really, 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 really hurts. It's yeah. it's cracking. <laughs> if, if if you're within the police and military establishment and you can actually have all the documentation to use it and the safety procedures and, and or, your, or your GMR. But, yeah. Then you know, yeah. or you can use gas bypass systems, which are toys. Yeah. Um, you know, and as long as you and they more, don't hurt half as much. Yeah. yeah. And it's got exactly the same mechanism system. Yeah. Like that. You yeah. know, I get a bit more, a bit more flaky in the system, but yeah, like you say. But again, you know, if if you look after it, service it. it but it, it's like the most temperamental, angry little puppy you will ever own that just poos all over the floor at when you know you, you know the, at the moment that you really don't you know you bring a hot girl back home yeah. and yeah. Kind of stuff, you know like, and your puppy's just poo and weed everywhere and it's yeah. totally ruined your night that's a gas blow back gun <laughs> you know it's just there you go it, it, that is, sums it up that is the best analogy i love it ever. you love you yeah. love it but you just want to throw it every time <laughs> um okay <laughs> Um, I've got a couple more questions. Uh, Alpha Mike Zero Seven wants to see some gear. I don't know if we're gonna have time. Uh, what is it like to see your picture across an entire wall? I presume you've had them all printed in them. What was that like to have a, a guy but a mural? Yeah. So, so on base. Um, again, this is one of the images that people don't get to see. Um, it's there, there's a wall on base that literally, when we first arrived, it was you walked in and it was just bare bare walls everywhere and um, first thing that was literally immediately kind of said like we need our work up so I'm sort of <laughs> sat editing away in the little corner where's the photographer so yeah. knock at the door we need images you that Got yeah on. literally yeah. it's kind of like right we need images and we need them now so for the first couple of months I was just ragging around base trying to just get images of well First of all, looking through, there's a, there's a fantastic um, online database that we can use, which is basically all the like, crown copyrighted images that have ever been taken. Yeah. We can kind of like scroll through and kind of like, cool, cool images, yeah, use that for this. You know, it's used, news agencies use it a lot of the time and stuff like that. So we were like pulling stuff from that, but then we also wanted like specific stuff for reaming. And um, so we're getting like big sort of like, you know, like a naught size prints, like boom, 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 all over the place. And it was like, wow. And I'm like, yeah, see this 30 foot long wall? Well, actually, no, not even 30, probably 30 meter long wall, actually. It was huge. We want to put an image there. And I'm like, good luck. Or one, one single one image. One single image. Jesus. And so, you know, at, at that point, it's like, yeah, if you've got a Hasselblad going spare, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But we don't have one. It's kind of like, right, right. So, we basically construct an image, and it's, and it, so. What, you stitched some images together? No, it's single image. Sing, oh, wow. Single image from a uh, 5D Mark III, pushed it to the absolute limit of its capability, and then post processing and really sort of like cheating a lot of the sharpening and also a bit yeah. of blurring of the, the colours to get rid of the, the, um, um, 
like, like the, not the grain, but the pixelization. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, literally, and there's, there's, there is a long story to it that was a bit of a, um, it was, it started off as a job that was booked in, amazing job, all planned, really, really good, it was all going amazing, yes, everything's working, everything's really, really good, job's done, right, let's take the photograph and edit it all, and actually, we want the photograph to look totally different now. Oh, uh, <laughs> and it's going to print the next day, so we had to basically reorganise the shoot within about 30 minutes with different vehicles to then take the sun's now shining directly in the direction of where we got the vehicle. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is going to be there. Um, did it, and I was actually happy with it. Yeah. Um, happy. With, I was actually using one of the soldiers as an actual sunblock. Right. His butt, his left butt cheek is actually being used to blanket out the sun. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> good work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. Um, uh, just have a look through some of this. What sorts of people running GoPros but trying to get better footage and playing the game? Just don't run a GoPro. I can answer that. GoPros are great. Um, you look at their commercials, you look at their commercials, looks amazing. What you understand is GoPro will select the best three seconds of footage mm-hmm. yeah. from all their ambassadors globally that are, in the, one, yeah. that are in the best po- possible situation and lighting yeah. conditions and all those things. They're, they're good. They're good little action cams. But he, what, I think what he's saying is, is thoughts and people run them on their helmet in a game and then they play with it, you know, not to play the game, they play to get some good footage. Did you ever watch the Blair Witch Project? No. Blair Witch, yes. Blair Witch yeah. Project makes you yeah, want is that with, make, with the snot. I've yeah, seen yeah, the yeah. makes you want to vomit yeah. within about three seconds because it's just literally shake footage like that, and that's all it is. Yeah, if you want, if somebody's got a GoPro slapped on their forehead, shaking it around, you yeah. just want to vomit. All right. Yeah. If you're going to use GoPro, do that. <laughs> if you're going to use GoPros in an airsoft game, be creative. Um, so just, really, just don't use them. So. Yeah. You see, if <laughs> <laughs> see, it's, right. it's like how you've been going, when you're doing gameplay, never, yeah. never in right. a billion years. If you want, all right, okay, so it's, it's difference between doing gameplay for videos or if you're just going to get some really cool footage yeah, this that is you like, can stitch into a cool little video. And that's the difference between it's about like an independent person doing video of guys playing or someone actually running around. No, no, just, just be making the best of, a, of an airsoft. Video. Best of the video. I mean, mix up the footage. Mix it up. Don't just have it always at the front. I've seen some great stuff in from the states. They actually put the GoPros on the back of the helmet. Front guy going in through the build into the door. Out on the back of his helmet, looking at the back of his team. So all the team stacked up behind him. All go in. So I've never seen that. And then you've got all the guys filtering in behind. So you're seeing a perspective. And it's all get your cameras into a position that you would never normally see. If you literally, if you put a camera to your eyes and you walk around like that, everyone's seen that before. It's yeah. boring as sin. Yeah. If you put a camera, yeah, some videos, gameplay, boring as sin. If you put a drive up, so yeah, so your cameras here, cameras on the gun, looking forwards. If you switch that round and point backwards, all of a sudden it's a different aspect. Yeah. If you put them back in a different aspect. If you you know think about it, be creative. Show, show, show it to your dick. Uh, yeah, that's that's the that's you're more likely <laughs> to get that. you're more yeah. likely to get that than go. But yeah, but I don't think like, so the whole thing in the back of the head. Off. Yeah, I would never have thought that. Never. I it's... don't know. I still see airsoft guys like you know Matt runs one on his head, one pointing back, one pointing out as a scope cam, and there's a cut between all of them. I just still think that it him and others play to the footage. They don't play to the game. Get a really good friend of theirs that can take good video and get them to follow them out. Yeah, that's probably a better one. You know, and actually, yeah. and actually film them playing as opposed to from their perspective. Yeah. So yeah, I, I still like, I still watch his videos, but I just find the whole appeal of it. I just, yeah, I just don't, I don't. See, I'd rather go out and shoot people in the face yeah. than watch somebody else shoot people in the face. Because that's just like, you know, you know. It, it, I think that's fair. I <laughs> See, I, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of middle ground between the pair of you. See, I, I like some footage. I, yeah. I've seen some. Uh, I think there's one guy out in um, Sweden, Pandian. I think he was doing some stuff. He had the camera like right at the tip of his barrel, yeah. and he was doing some really sweet sort of room clearance. 
and you could you saw his eyes like you know yeah. flicking left right panning you know pine I thought yeah that's pretty cool like it's, it was quite an intense video yeah um, all right but you, you know after like thirty seconds you go yeah right it's in it change to a different perspective watch a movie and count how many seconds between like frame switches you see camera, 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 camera angles camera okay. time. how how long would it ever stay on any one shot yeah. and literally there are very few films that will last any longer than like 10 seconds yeah because yeah. yeah. it, it, it keeps people fun. interested I, I think if it changed every half a second for, for three seconds i still wouldn't watch all of it <laughs> done yeah. um, right anyway have you tried blank no during your airsoft time how many damages occurred by airsoft reasons being in there so I'm asking about damaged cameras and I guess equipment and to you have you had um, anything damaged I okay so damage to me a fair bit um, you know pro- properly getting lit up mm-hmm. at close range uh, maximum just because again I'm not in high vis you know yeah. some I, 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 I rock like plain you know coloured stuff and you know yeah. sometimes like a little red ball cap that kind of works for a little bit when I thought saw it um yeah touch wood um you know sort of like it's a case of touch wood um basically i used uh uv protectors okay. on on the lens kits and it's basically um decent decent glass that you screw onto the front of it yeah. um and sometimes even if, if it was a case of on like my wide angle lens i put two yeah. Now people are like, oh my god, all some of them, you know, it's like quality of hack and this and that. Mm-hmm. To be honest, for what you're doing, it's fine. You yeah. know, it's only if literally the kind of trophy that we're doing today, yeah. two no, two no. UV lenses on the front, you would start to see a bit of problems. Yeah. If you're shooting outdoors, you know, action stuff like Fast that. Fast paced stuff, you wouldn't see it. You yeah. wouldn't see it. And, and, yeah. So you have no damage to equipment? No. Just you've no. just been lit up a couple of times, guys. Oh, right. Moon. I'm going to take that as all the questions. Done with all of the oh. questions. Um, guys, I am uh, pretty much ready to start drinking. I don't know how you two feel. Drier than yeah. <laughs> Gandhi's flip flop. So I'm um, that far down the rug. Guys, yeah. drunk half a bottle of rum. Um, guy, thank you so much for, uh, yeah. for joining us. No, yeah. Thank you. It's been. It's, it's been a sweet day. Mm. We've had a, we've um, had a good fun day. There will be loads more images coming, by the way. Uh, uh, we've got a ton of really fun images, some more serious stuff, some real product-based stuff. So, yeah, don't worry about that. They will be coming out. It's not stuff that's going to get hidden in uh, guys' black box photos. They will be, they will be yeah, coming they, out. They, they're, they're too good. Not, they are not to pretty see amazing. Amazing. Yeah. To be yeah. saying, amazing. So, yeah. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That, that some of these pictures will be getting used on my Tinder profile. <laughs> I'm just saying they're that they're that good. They are like that good. essence. That good. <laughs> like I <laughs> think that most people watching this mums will be to mop or some sort. <laughs> James Bond that ain't got he got nothing on me. Like Ian Fleming had that image in his head before right. he got up and wrote. And he, he had the image, it's like <laughs> like, oh, like the image of like so right guys yeah. thanks for having this thank you no thank you thank have you thanks for shooting us today we've been no, thank, you. Yeah. thank you thank you for the questions um where can people come and find you uh for photos for contacting you all that sort of stuff I mean, major presence on, on instagram i have set up a very new youtube site so it's very new very fledgling but i'm going to get more content up there in terms of uh best practices i don't want to be doing the usual review stuff um the idea is, is what i'm going to be talking about is more about ethics what you can do photography law in the uk um you know so more talking about it as a profession as opposed to just sort of like here's a new lens um hints, hints and tips Hints and tips, um, you know, how to get the best out of, you know, if you're shooting a particular type of thing, cool. but not going, if, if you're after, you know, what f-stop should I be using for this, there's, mm. it's already out there's there. a million channels. Yeah. Yeah. So well, what, what we'll make sure job. is that, probably not tonight, because I'm going to go and have a few drinks, but tomorrow I will, link, I will link all of Guy's information yeah. in the description below. 
Um, we've got some yeah. cool stuff coming up with Guy in the future, so this is definitely not the last you will see of that. Down with us, um, no doubt we will be doing some more fun shoots. I can see these pictures being insanely popular. Yeah. Um, Richard. Yeah, so, um, yeah, super happy with everything we've done. Thank you for coming down. Um, like I say, guys, if you need to, not if you need to, you have to, hit up Guy Butler on his Instagram. Yeah, just, just, just search Guy Butler, uh, guybutler.com. Uh, guybutlerphotography.com. Guybutlerphotography.com. Uh, all his old images will be there, so check it out. Um, keep an eye out, obviously, for upcoming images that between myself, Tim, and Guy will be slowly pushing out. Um, and yeah, you know, Guy is a freelance photographer, so if you've got if you've got the got the money, <laughs> yeah, if, if, if you've got if you've got if you've got the money and you want some Ali Fox, so I'm not uh, cheap. I will put it on the he's, he's not cheap, but, um, but you yeah. will get an incredible product um, set, yeah, or you will get some yeah. amazing for, uh, photos. So, yeah. Guy, they can hit you up on Instagram, Facebook, or you can go over to YouTube. If you want to drop Richie a message and find out about his suave Tinder profile, you can do that <laughs> <laughs> at DJ Richie C on Instagram. It's the best place to hit him up. He's always on there. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm always on uh, YouTube. So youtube.com forward slash random trashy soon to be something else, new which uh, I'm looking forward to. Um, guys, I thank you so much for yeah, spending your Saturday nice. night with us. Um, it is 20 to 10, so please, all of you, go and treat yourself to a gin and, tip, gin and tonic because it's classy. Don't drink anything else um, because it's for scumbags. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and peasants. Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're a pirate like Guy and you can drink rum straight all night. Um, yeah. Guys, have a fantastic evening. Thank you very much for joining us on this live stream. And uh, I will leave a wonderful goodbye from uh, Richie and Guy. Sing to them. Sing, Sing. to them. Adios. <laughs> Amigos. <laughs>